While volunteering with senior citizens, I often heard how they had regrets for not doing things they wanted to do in the past because of life's storms. I don't want to live my life with regrets for not trying new things. And participating in the county fair pageant has always been a dream of mine. And here I am tonight. I love a good challenge, and I have one for each of you. When you leave here tonight, I want you to think of one thing you've always wanted to do, but never really found the time. I want you to do that one thing before you come back here next year and tell me how it worked. I believe that life throws little storms at us as a challenge. It's easy to let those storms hold us back, but why let them? We can just keep right on going through the storm and grow. Remember, identify your personal challenge tonight and do it before this time next year and let me know how it worked out. Finally, as my high school class of 2013 and I say, life isn't about waiting for the storm to pass, but learning to dance in the rain. These are the phrases that are used today. So what is beauty? Is it the way a woman walks? Is it her smile? Is it her grace or is it her style? Perhaps it is her strength, personality, and her spirit, all of it combined. Light skin, dark skin, tall, short, sorry, thick or thin. These are the words that describe the outside, not what's within. I can change my hair, the color of my eyes, take away wrinkles, and sell you life from my thighs. The women in my life taught me that outward beauty fades, and inward beauty is what counts, and affects the way how I make people feel on any given day. It's the beauty within that signifies a lady, so love and be true to you, never shady. of any two sides of an isosceles triangle is equal to the square root of the remaining side. Many of you may recognize this as a quote from the Scarecrow in The Wizard of Oz right after he receives his diploma from the wizard. Some of you may recognize his statement as an attempt to explain the Pythagorean theorem. How many of you know, though, that his statement is actually completely incorrect? The small errors in the Scarecrow statement stand out to me because I am studying to become a high school mathematics teacher. As a math teacher, it will be my job to explain complex mathematical concepts in a way that will help students understand and apply them in their everyday lives. Then they can grow up to be whatever they dream of being. As for the Scarecrow, he didn't need a brain because he had one all along. The diploma from the wizard didn't help him much either. He needed someone that could help him develop the courage and the heart to put it all together in order to achieve his dreams. Just like anyone who has a dream, what the Scarecrow really needed was a teacher. For as long as I can remember, volunteering has always been a huge part of my life. I've participated in several events. My favorite event is definitely the Christie Clinic Illinois Marathon. This event raises money for at least 16 different charities, locally and statewide. A few include Salt and Light, the Humane Society, and the Eastern Illinois Food Bank. I've always enjoyed being a part of events so large. However, this year, I gained a whole new perspective. I ran my first 10K. As a runner, I got to see just how many volunteers there really are. What is even more amazing than the amount of runners and the amount of volunteers is the amount of spectators. Thousands of people come together, make signs, and spend the entire day cheering on the runners. The entire community comes together for this weekend-long event and creates an amazing atmosphere. <laughs> this is the sense of community that I would like to bring to Vermillion County every day. Square root of negative one, two cubed, sigma pi. All my math nerds out in the there know that that simplifies down to I ate some pie. And it was delicious. <laughs> like most high school and college students, I lead a very chaotic life with little to no consistency. But math brings consistency to my life. With the laws, rules, and theorems taught in math, using these mathematical tools, hopefully you can achieve the right answer. That is the second reason why I enjoy math so much. Math has definite right or wrong answers, which is a quality that is hard to find nowadays in the society we live in, where there's an exponential amount of gray area for personal interpretation between right and wrong. Not that that's always a bad thing. But those two qualities, consistency and definitive answers, are the reason why I love math. Thank you. Come.
confidence. Some people are born with it, some people work hard for it, and some people don't have any idea how to get it. It is something you either have or you do not have. Confidence is something that can also be easily accomplished. Many people ask the question, how do you gain confidence? I have learned over time that confidence is easy to accomplish as long as you have good friends, trust, and time to accomplish it. Miley Cyrus once said, nobody is perfect and everybody has flaws. As long as, whether it's your looks, your work, or competing on stage in a beauty pageant, confidence is key and beauty is confidence. As long as you're confident in what you do and you believe in yourself, you'll do great. There are several definitions for the word pageant in the dictionary. A mere show, a beauty contest, even an ostentatious display. The problem? Words are ambiguous by design. No offense to Mr. Webster, but he got it all wrong. A pageant is far from mere and has little to do with beauty. It's about confidence, attention to detail, and dedication. Words are nothing more than a representation. My definition of Miss Vermilion County is more than just a title. It's about representing an amazing group of people who dedicate more than just time or money. It's about utilizing your inner beauty to show the true meaning behind the title. Without this pageant, I would not be the woman that you see standing in front of you. I've learned that nothing is impossible with God's help. If you chase your dreams with courage, you will be recognized. But chase them with grace, and you will be remembered. From the famous words of Paul Harvey, and on the eighth day, God looked down on his planned paradise and said, I need a caretaker. So God made a farmer. Agriculture has changed the face of our nation's economy that was once thought of as a farm with fields of crop and livestock. The diversity of agriculture now impacts everyone's lives on a daily basis. From the pretty lipstick we wear, the ice cream cones we all eat too much of, and even our favorite clothing. Many of our farming ancestors were innovative and helped pave the way to make agriculture Illinois' largest and most profitable industries. My grandfather was very well known for fabricating the very first eight row planter to speed up production and be more efficient. Many of these practices we still use today to be the best producers we can be. Finding labor to work 16 hour days, milk cows, deal with brutal tan lines, and feed our nation isn't easy. So God made a farmer. The dream vacation can be found not so far from home and I get to take it every August when I travel to the Illinois State Fair in Springfield. Typically, dream vacations involve hitting the spa or taking a guided tour through some unfamiliar land. My vacation includes doing laps around the Coliseum as I show my horses and working alongside my family to make sure that everything runs as smoothly as possible. A task not always so easy during horse show season. You may be dreaming about the best gourmet meal that can be had on your dream vacation. When I get to the State Fair, I cannot wait to get to Coliseum Corner and get a hold of a fresh fair corn dog. The seven wonders of the world often draw quite the crowd of tourists. However, if I could add an eighth wonder to that list, it would definitely have to be the butter cow display. No matter how far across the globe I get to travel, the Illinois State Fair will forever be the best dream vacation and home away from home that I could ever ask for. Dance and some livestock barns. But when I walk through the gates of the Vermilion County Fairgrounds, I see what I have come to consider my second home as a 4 -H'er for the past 11 years. I see the livestock barns and exhibit hall full of hard work and memories. I walk into the 4-H food booth and see volunteers and 4-H members working side by side. I see the fair board hurrying from place to place trying to make this fair the best it can be. And I see a lamb born on my farm now ready for the show ring. I see this fair in a different way than most, not just with my eyes, but also with my heart. I am at home here with my fair family, and as Dorothy once said, there's no place like home. If I am chosen Miss Vermillion County Fair 2014, 
It will be my honor and my privilege to represent the county that I love and the fair that I call home. Take for example, Tuesday, June 3rd. Everything that can go wrong with me that day did. I started my morning by spilling my hot tea all over me. Then my car broke down, which made me late for a meeting. That same day was also the dance practice for the pageant, which I was also late for. Not to mention, I was not sure where to go. Once I got there, I realized wearing four inch heels may not have been a good idea. While videotaping during the final spin, I tripped and almost face planted. But did I let these things bring me down? No. I came out of it with hope that tomorrow will be a better day. Remember, it's not how good you are when you start, but how great you are when you finish. And I'm going to finish this journey with a smile on my face in hopes of inspiring other people. And also, always strive for a medal. If you can wear the gold, you can be the gold. Thank you.